I'm good. Thank you. Hello, beautiful people. Woo! Hello. My name is Jessica Starr, and I'm the 99%. Woo! I was born into the 99% from Salvadorian parents who came here to escape the civil war in my country. I've grown up within the education system here in Los Angeles. I've lived here my whole life. And this is the most beautiful thing I've seen happen in the city. Woo! And um, I want to share a poem that I wrote, not necessarily for this cause, but it's part of the problem. I, I wrote it when SB 1070 came out. And um, it was in Arizona. And I was angry at a report I saw on TV. And um, so I wrote this out of that anger. I wanted to write something that eased the Arizona burn, something that steadied the shaking of my hands after my mother took me into her bedroom, showed me where she keeps her passport and residency card ready just in case. But I am just as confused as when I was a child begging my parents to take me to SeaWorld, but all the answer I ever got was it's too close to the border. The same bewilderment of knowing that my parents only legally married to guarantee my mother's residency and that deep nostalgia of home that kept my father up at nights drinking and playing boleros, weeping into the empty living room, his father's memory in the chair next to him. The smell of a Salvador staring in his glass wasn't enough to pack us, pack us up and return. I wanted to make something beautiful for us, something that did not taste like weekday mornings in Pacific Palisades, walking children and dogs that were not ours, lawnmowers and leaf blowers, bus rides for the women complaining of knee pains and backaches, everyone brown and tired, making their way back to the graffiti and the concrete, the cholos and daughters with too many kids. Everyone crammed together in house complexes and buildings, telenovelas in Don Francisco, buying calling cards, calling grandmothers, telling her, I'm okay, mama. As long as there is work, I can't complain. I don't want Arizona to burn like my face did when teachers told me that I spoke English better than they thought the brown in my skin would allow me to. Mm. Or when immigration raids and chicken factories had aunts and uncles calling each other asking, are you okay? Do they take you? But my mama says she's not angry, that people don't understand or know what it's like to leave everything you've ever had and come to where you are not welcomed just because a maybe will feed you so much more than nothing. Uh. But this morning, I saw a Salvadorian man in television defending Arizona's decision. A man so brown he too could be stopped if he wasn't in a suit, hair slicked back, answering to Steve instead of Esteban, the name his mother gave him before he ever arrived here. I know he must have crawled through the same tunnels all of my family did, calling out the Virgen of Guadalupe, rosary beads wrapped around hands, a mouthful of Jesus, and a heart so anxious its racing still hasn't slowed all of these years later. I can't make any sense of this, not when I don't see any progress. There is a dam in my mouth that won't let me spit out the rage. Aloe vera words come and the burn turns into a blister. The border, a willing mouth, la llorona, screaming, my children, my children, indignity seems to be our only birthright. And my mama tells me that we don't bother anyone. My Pacific Palisades in the morning, housekeeper mama with her passport and residency card ready, just in case they come, my mama is ready. Woo! Thank you.